What's going on, family? What's good? It's Manuel Godoy from Black Sands, and today we are talking about 2020. So I know you guys are ready for this. Y'all prepared. Seems like we've been we've been lit on our store. Our store has been blowing up the last couple days now since we're talking about that DVD coming out in the next two weeks. I know you guys are excited about that. But this video is not about the DVD. It's done. It's ready to go. What we need to talk about is 2020. What's going to happen this year. How you guys are going to join our company, right, as owners. And how we're going to have the hottest anime in the next decade, all right? Demon Slayers, move over. Attack on Titans, get out of here. We... <laughs> We're going to be killing it, bro. And we're going to be doing it independently owned by the community. All right? So I'm going to step away for a second. You guys, fill this room up. Raise your hand if you got yourself a DVD already and you just waiting on it coming to your house. And uh, I'll be right back, okay? I'm going to give a chance to everybody to get into this room. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so I'm here. So, let's talk about what's going down in 2020. First of all, we need to talk about January, all right? January is a pretty important month. So, uh... Everybody needs to start off right, right? We got to talk about January, right? So let's see. First things first, uh, DVD's coming out in two weeks. So that's January 15th, all right? It's here. It's ready. The album's ready for hip hop. The actual DVD with the animated content and the episodes are on there as well. We've been selling out like crazy. I only ordered like 1,500 copies because I wanted to be safe, right? And I ain't think that people are gonna buy like 80 copies a day. That's that's kind of it's kind of hard to keep up with that kind of math, especially since I already have 800 pre-orders from Kickstarter and Patreon. So uh, needless to say, I'm about to run out of DVDs, and then I have to go and order again. And if that happens, well, people are just gonna have to wait a lot longer for the next set of DVDs. Oh well. But that's a great problem to have because <laughs> and I am so glad that I, our store is booming and I'm so glad that you guys are sharing our content, all right? You guys are sharing it constantly and because of that, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube has been balling their behinds off on our behalf. I really love it. I really appreciate you guys for what you guys are doing. Um, that DVD is hot. Trust me, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's totally clean, so don't worry about having your kids worrying about cursing, even on the hip-hop album. Absolutely no cursing, no swearing, nothing like that. So all ages can uh, can enjoy it. Might be a little too violent for, like, little five-year-olds, but, you know, five-year-olds should be watching Shonen Jumps in the first place. <laughs> um, then we're going to be having our investment round. Yeah, 
So if this is your first time talking to Black Sands Entertainment, this is your first time actually seeing us, then um, this is probably the first time you're hearing that we're going to be opening our company to investors, you know, on a platform for crowdfunding. So yeah, people are going to be able to buy shares in our company. Now, if you're one of those people who's planning on investing in our company, this is a great time to really be around because this is the first time we've ever done it. If you're wondering why you haven't seen other companies who are making black comic books do something like this, it's most likely because they're just incapable of doing something like this. It requires a lot of work to actually raise capital through stock uh, on a platform like WeFunder or whatever, right? It takes a lot of money to do that. Um, it takes a lot of commitment and having your books prepared because the CPA, you know, they have to actually go through your books and make sure that there's no fraud, there's no waste, there's nothing in there that has red flags for potential investors. On top of that, you have to file with the SEC, fill out your forms, your lawyers, and all that other crap, and it's just crazy. It's crazy. It took like a month and a half to get all this crap prepared. But it's finally finished. We're ready to go. And most likely within the next two weeks or so, you're going to hear a big update about when we're launching. And we're launching this month. Make no mistake. We're not going to push this out any further, all right? We're going to launch and people are going to be able to buy a piece of this company, all right? Like I said, we're the only ones doing this because we're the only ones who are bold enough and diligent enough to be able to pull it off in the first place. Nobody wants to open their books to the federal government to make sure that they're not committing fraud or wasting their money in a certain ways or doing things like that. We're capable of doing that. Why? Because we want to grow. I don't have time to wait. I don't have time to wait for Hollywood to pick up my show. You know what? I've been studying for the last month trying to find any show at all that was created about African civilizations from Hollywood. And I found absolutely zero for the last 34 years. The last one that was made was Shaka Zulu. That was the last big budget production about African civilizations. Nothing else. 35 years, okay? Think about it this way. Five years? That's what we call, eh, it's not trending right now. Ten years? That's when it's like, oh, okay. You said maybe they're just reluctant to do it. 35 years? That's like two generations, okay? That means they don't want to do it ever again. And Chaka Zulu was wildly successful. So they really wanted to go against the grain to make sure that they never make another African story that will motivate people and say, hey, look at us. We could be a community and we could do things ourselves and we don't need anybody else. All right. That's the kind of stuff I'm going up against. And because I'm going up against people like that, I have to do it myself. How do I do it myself? By opening my company to you so you can help us fund this thing all right it's kind of rude for creators to just ask you guys for free money from kickstarter we need to go and work together so while i still will be having kickstarters in the future for specific titles and like ideas and stuff like that when it comes to the big stuff like expanding building our anime getting licensing building our publishing app that's going straight to equity, and you're going to be able to buy a piece of our company when you put your money in. That's how you do it. Yeah, you saw what happened to Orlando Jones. Orlando, that Orlando Jones issue really bothered me, man. I can't stand the way they do people like that, yo. And they're writers. That's the worst part about it, is that the character really is like that in the books. And they still hated him. Do you understand how crazy that is? When you hate the actual way the book was written. <laughs> so, so you know, I'll I, I be tripping, man. I, I, it, it's wild. So, yeah, that's what's going on with our um, investment round. That's going to be happening this January. February, and I'm hoping this. I don't know yet, but I think my artist is, I think our artist, David Letterman, I think he's starting to knock out these pages on uh, issue six. Issue six a black sand should come out in February. All right. Now issue six is sick. All right. So, so we're looking at some pretty dope stuff. And with the issue six, we might, if I'm really, if I'm really diligent, I might be able to write the entire novel of Asar by March. 
Hopefully. If that happens, that's going to be a one-two punch out of this world, all right? Because issue six is wild. You're going to see the world open up for real in Black Sands. And then the Hussar novel talks about his adventures with his grandfather outside of Kemet when they were just training. You know those five years when Hussar was taken away from his family and had to train with, with, with Ra? That's what that book is about. That, that time period. So if you're interested in world lore and ancients and all that other stuff, you're going to love that novel. I'm telling you, man. Now let's see here. Um, so yeah, that's March, right? Uh, hopefully by the end of March, we have already funded the entire campaign on WeFunder. We're doing about $500,000 for 10% of our company. All right. Hopefully we get that all funded. Now, if we get that all funded, everything's clear to go and we're good by, by March. You can expect to see major updates in our app animations from our new studio, Black Sand Studios. Uh, coming on YouTube every two weeks or so. Every two weeks, we're going to have new videos about our production. We're going to have people from Disney and Pixar who are working on our production actually talking about what they're doing in the thing. We're going to be showing you some of our renders and some of our concepts and storyboarding. You're really going to freaking be excited about the production we're doing. While we're doing that, we're also going to be paying for an uh, app development company to go and build up our publish publishing app because the app needs to be better than Webtoons. It just does. We're going for Webtoons neck, and we're going to dominate them. And we're going to do that by making one of the dopest, livest, and, uh, like freaking comic book apps you've ever seen. It ain't going to be basic. It ain't going to be a menu with a couple of comic books in there. It's going to have animations. It's going to have training tutorials. It's going to have gotcha system, so you can actually roll for new content and everything else free to use. It's going to be freaking wild, man. And this is all going to be funded through you guys on our crowdfunding platform. All right. That should be released. All this content that we're going to be developing at this time, it should be released around December, December of 2020. All right. That's when we are finally releasing almost all of this content. And with that, then we're going to move into our actual um, seed round of our company, right? Because we're in pre-seed right now. Next one's going to be seed round, and we're just going to freaking fly off the Richter scales from there. That's when we're going to take over the internet, all right? People are going to be like, yo, what the hell happened? Black Sands, I can't avoid them. Every time I turn around, there's Black Sands, and that's how it's going to be. And some of the things that we're going to be doing, we're not going to be sharing with the community because there's a lot of people who are my competitors, right, Who's been who's been stalking me. All right, they've been going on my Instagram and Facebook, and whenever I do recruitment calls for comic book creators and titles out there, and they all come to my call because I'm popular, people go and watch my page and then try to steal my potential clients. All right, so they're st actually stealing people that I recruited because they got no clout and they got no stuff on their own thing. It's a really shady thing. It happened multiple times in the last year, and I had to start blocking certain pages from even being able to see my, my Instagram or Facebook, including their employees, because that's what they're doing. They're stealing my clients. <laughs> you know, I, was like, I, I don't like hating on people, but that's what they're doing. So we got to get this moving, baby. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on right now. And, and we're going to be moving. All you guys who are investors, you're going to get all the information from me in real time. We're going to have an actual private server. So check it out. I'm making a private server right now where it's not like Discord because Discord's kind of unorganized. It's going to be like a Facebook group, but instead of being a Facebook group where you have to deal with algorithms and crap like that, it's going to be private and you guys can go in there and you can talk to each other. You can talk about investment. You can talk about creation. So if you want to find other artists or writers, you can build teams on that platform. And you can talk directly with me and my team and everybody else in that platform. Come, We're all together. We have our own community. And we don't have to worry about stupid crap like Facebook and Instagram shadow banning anybody. Okay, We can just do our work there in our own private space. I'm building that out right now. Expect to see that in a week or so. All right, it's going to be initial updates. We're just going to email you guys and we're going to go and get you in there from there. Now, with that being said, any questions? I'm going to give it to you right now. Go ahead and ask any questions you want and I will answer them for the next 10 minutes. All right, 
Questions, go. Any questions at all? Boom. And there's a delay, so I'm just going to wait a second because I know there's a delay on this thing. All right, so full full metal king says, "Love your art, bro. Looking for more artists." Uh, right now, we are at max capacity. Okay, we have multiple projects working right now, and we just don't have enough manpower to go and make more books. So, no artists right now. With that being said, uh, my artist, I mean my um, head of studio, Turnus, he's actually recruiting for the animation side, but that's more of on a professional level. So I don't know. I don't think he's looking for people who are intermediate or below. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Creative Extraordinaire says, how do you find developers for your app? We're searching multiple different locations. We're actually looking for game developers because even though our app is for comic books and mangas, we're developing it as if it is a game, all right? We want people to have engagement. We want people to be able to come to to speak with other people, gift things to their friends, start comment section wars, you know, troll each other, all that stuff. We want people to be able to really stay in that app for a while. So we, even though it's a, it's an app made for comics and mangas, we're gonna gamify the hell out of it. So we're looking at gaming uh, developers to make that app. Uh, let's see. Uh, cool table says. Can investors be involved in the creation of content and or lend talent? No. So people who are involved on the talent side or creative side have to earn their position regardless of investment. So that's one thing I've always done. It's like when we did our voice acting thing, we had 450 submissions. And even though some people had spent $500,000 on our Kickstarter campaign, I still only went by how good their submission was for their character and then assigned them based on who won the positions. That's what happened and we are going to keep that policy going forever. The best person will have their content on our, on our stuff. The best writers and artists will be hired when there's openings and um, any creative stuff, they're gonna have to compete with all the other creatives when they pop up. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cornelius says, you think about venturing into the motherland, Africa. Well, I was in South Africa in uh, October. I was a guest at Comic-Con Africa. That was pretty dope. Johannesburg. Man, I was lit. It's one of those cool things. One of those cool highlights in my life that I got. You know, I, I want to go back. Hopefully, I can get make a tour this year. You know, that'd be dope if I can get a tour going, sponsored by somebody. That's a lot of money, but whatever. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Um... Uh, how much to be a patron? Well, patrons can be $5, man. $5 uh, on Patreon will get you all our digital books unlocked for you for free. All right? Well, not for free. It's obviously 5 bucks a month. But you can get all of them. So all the way up to the first Pharaoh. Issue 1 through 5 plus the first Pharaoh. All there to download for 5 bucks at patreon.com slash blacksands. Uh... Let's see. Also, you can do a $15 tier and then get physical items every month. So we ship something to you, either a new book, one of the new books to come out, or a poster or something like that, and we send it to you every single month. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Cornelius says, will this eventually become a video game fighting action adventure? Uh, eventually, but it's not in the cards right now. I'm not, I'm not planning for that because it takes a whole development process and team and everything else to do that. So I'm not necessarily looking at that right now. I'm looking at the things that I know for a fact I can get done this year. That's animation and app. So that's where we're going to be focusing most of our production on. We're still going to be making comic books and mangas and teaching other people how to make comic books and mangas and uh, patronizing people who already have comics and mangas but don't sell them as much as we do. And we're, going to get, and we're still going to be doing that part of the business, but our main focus is animation and app development. Let's see. Um, Denzel uh, asks, 
Will the episodes in the DVD have similar look to a teaser you dropped a couple of days ago? Uh, so there's going to be three episodes on the DVD. It's going to be about 60 minutes long. There's also going to be a five-minute animated pilot, which is actually a 2D animation. So it's like traditional anime style, right? Really cool special effects, the works, bam, bam, bam. And then we also have a 13-track album that's also going to be on that package. So one side's a DVD and then another CD for the actual full album for Black Sand. So if you are into that kind of stuff you're going to be overloaded with content and it's only 20 bucks let's see what else we got here mm-hmm. all right so k-pax uh k-pac or whatever says um what is the name of that app or platform any advice for black artists uh like me in creating comics well one thing is take our 90 day book publishing course it's in this channel, all right? I hope you're a subscriber because it's in this channel. Just go to our playlist and you'll see the 90 day book challenge. Go to that one and you literally follow it. Space your days out for two days or something before between each class, do the homework, and you'll have your comic in no time. There is cost involved and that's one of the early classes that teaches you about the cost of making comic books, novels, and children's books. And you better pay attention to that one because people think that they could just make stuff themselves and it's not really that simple. You gotta be able to build a team and that's what this entire course is about, is teaching you every single thing about the creative process in order to make a professional book, all right? Uh, people can make amateur books, but amateur books don't sell. We need professional books. Let's see. Um, Let's see. Uh, what is the name of the app? Blah, 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 blah. Cowboy Casanova says, are you going to make action figures? Eventually, you best believe we're going to have freaking ca- um, action figures. That's definitely in the cards. We actually have some people in place right now on the development side of the animation who are experts at merchandising for major companies like Disney, Pixar, and everything else. So we know exactly what we need to do in order to get it action figures in order to get trading cards or whatever the heck we're planning on selling in the future so expect it expect it soon hell we might have a whole bunch of them next christmas let's see uh. all right full metal king says is it too much if i wanted to submit some characters to you i've wanted to do what you're doing a long time uh, I don't even know, I, I don't accept characters, ideas, or anything. The only thing I accept is fully finished books. So if you've got a full comic book that you finished, I can look at it. I can see if it's a good fit for our platform, and I'll judge it. But anything that's an idea will not be accepted by Black Sand Entertainment. There's just too many ideas out there. People have ideas all the time, and I just feel like, you know, unless somebody's capable of basically managing the project themselves, it'll be too much work on my ha- my my behalf. To bring that into fruition. Let's see. Uh, Don't 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 Manson says, "Have you heard of Wilbur Roger II? He does amazing work doing music in the video game space." I don't know him. DM me something like that. DM me a link or something. I'll check it out. Are you looking into Netflix? No. Look, if Netflix beats down my door and like offers me an amazing deal, I'll accept it. But I'm not actively going for Netflix because Netflix is one of the um, most controlling platforms out there. They control productions from beginning to end. They change stuff. They are heavy-handed. Now, Amazon, on the other hand, I am definitely exploring ways I can work with Amazon because Amazon likes to cut checks and walk the hell away. They don't like controlling productions from beginning to end. You notice how almost every company that Amazon's bought, they haven't changed a damn thing about them. They're like, yeah, they do their thing their way. We're just going to say, buy Amazon. That's all they're going to do. Buy Amazon. You know, so, so, so I like that. Because I could do Black Sands, buy Amazon, if they stay the hell out of my way, and let me make whatever the hell I want. You know what I'm saying? So Amazon I like. I like Amazon. What's up, Alabo? 
Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, creative extraordinaire. The story of... Okay, that's a compliment. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. We include Haru in the series down the line. I only ask because he's the son of a star in our set. Uh, yes. Way down the line. <laughs> like, like, it'll be like, it'll be like close to like 10 years before we ever see a, uh, um, Haru. It's just, it's going to be a long time. He is not, not planned for a while. You know, this, 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 uh, they don't grow up right away. So don't, don't think that this is going to be a very fast moving story. Uh, it's going to move about as fast as Naruto. So it's going to be a long time in this time period before we go and skip a couple of years. Let's see. Where can I get that shirt from, fella? Uh, BlackSandsEntertainment.com, my store. See, this, this shirt right here? Yeah. BlackSandsEntertainment.com. Great shirt, fully sublimated, both sides of the shirt. Uh, we also have a Petamok, we have Seth, and we have All Set. Uh, let's see. Uh, any more episodes on, of Black Sands on YouTube? K-Pack, and the answer is no. I'm not going to upload any more episodes on YouTube because now we have a DVD. I gave episode one out just so people could see the quality of what's going to be on the DVD. But that's about as much as I'm going to give away for now just because... You know, I want people to buy the DVDs, and people are buying the DVDs, a lot of them. All right, we're, we're almost sold out already. It's only been two days so far, so this is kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mega Klaus says, have you considered Quelly TV? Well, they just aren't in my space. They have nothing that competes with my space. So I, I really don't see a, a partnership there, all right? They don't do anime, they don't do animation, and they definitely don't have budgets to help us fund it. So what we have to do is we have to make it ourselves and then um, release it on our platforms, right? Which we'll be developing in order to be able to make that capacity. So one thing is this, right? I like partnerships when someone has something to offer of equal value to me. I can't, I can't work with people who have less um, less to offer than what I'm offering at the table, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm developing an out animation that's going to be amazing and stuff like that, either you're coming to me with a lot of capital or you're coming to me with a ridiculously solid overperforming platform that will make sure that we have success on launch. You understand? So so that's the, that's the issue I have with uh, Quality TV. Great idea, great concept. Great for indie publishers that are making like small, like like live live action f films and stuff like that. But can't it can't handle a, a major anime production that might cost thirty million dollars to produce? They can't do it. Let's see. Let's see, I just found the Gizzy Dolls last time here. Uh... All right, so that's all the questions I have for now. Is there anything else you guys wanna say? Maybe you just wanna talk for a second, get some ideas out there. Uh, go right ahead, I'll open it up for about three more minutes and then I am going to log off, all right? Now remember, for guys who haven't shopped with us yet, the store is blacksandsentertainment.com. We have we have the DVD, we have all the books, the comics, shirts like this, and the works, and that's the website right there. Boom, blacksandsentertainment.com. If you want to be a digital subscriber and you just want the you just want books digitally, right? Cheap and digital. Now you can go to patreon.com slash black sands and you can go there. All right. Do, do, 
Do, do, do, do. This was a very good live video. We had a great conversation with you guys talking about this. Y'all had some amazing questions. I love the questions. Uh, and don't worry, we are going to do a new version of the 90 day book um, publishing course later on, probably in March or something. We're going to start a new version of the, uh, of the, what's it called? With a lot higher quality production. All right. So we're going to make it real nice and special. So you guys can really follow it and get inspired and knock out those books. <laughs> the DVD comes with the actual DVD, which is about 60 minutes of content plus a 13 track hip hop album. Uh, Comics Live, we have our own studio, buddy. Check it out. So if you want to learn more about our actual animation studio, go to this link right here, blacksandstudios.com. All right, blacksandstudios.com. That's where we have all our information about our actual studio. That's where you can learn more about me, my 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 partner in this development process, Turnus De Rot, and uh, what our current production plans are for the next year. Okay. And that is all. So uh, thank you so much for showing up. Remember to share this with your friends. If you think this is a conversation that they need to be in, just share this live video with them. It's being logged, so it's going to be in the, pro in the thing uh, tomorrow. It'll probably be posted tomorrow, okay? Oh, the platforms that we are on all the time are Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Twitter is our weakest platform, but Facebook and Instagram, we dominate. So just look up Black Sand Entertainment, no spaces, and that's us. <laughs>